Hey, welcome back. In this video, I want to take a little bit of a detour from building our app and focusing on how we can use the browser dev tools to debug our application and see what's going on when it's running and just understand what's going on if something's not working the way that we expect it to. So let's jump into our browser and take a look at how that works. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to make my browser window a little bit bigger here. And I'm using Chrome as my browser. So all the instructions that I'm going to show you here are specific to Chrome. Although most of the tools available do work in, in uh, all the other browsers, just they work a little bit different. So you want to open up the browser dev tools, you can right click somewhere and choose inspect or uh, then use the keyboard combination to open that up. Now, what's nice about client side applications in general is that you can interact with them fully uh, through the browser dev tool since they are running on on the browser. So if you select an element like here where we've selected our demo view, which is our view here, demo view, you can see that there's a equal signs to dollar sign zero here. And that's something that you can use here down in the console. If you don't see the console, you can hit escape to show it. And if we select uh, dollar sign dot, you can see all the different properties that we have on it. So let's, for instance, look at name. You can see that it's empty right now, but we could assign it to something like uh, Marcus, like this. And you can see that it updates our component, our view, exactly the same way as if we had actually changed something here. Now, one thing that's pretty handy is using live expressions. Uh, they're essentially pinned expressions that you can listen for wherever you're kind of going around in the application. You can follow what a specific expression or what value a specific expression has. So this takes a kind of jQuery-esque syntax for query selectors. So I'm going to do a query selector for the demo view. Demo view. That way it's available no matter where we are. And underneath here you can see what it matches. And we're going to do, again, the name like that. And we'll save this. And do command return. And you can see the value here, Marcus, if I change it here, it will update here. And it doesn't matter where in the uh, element tree I go, this will still stay here. And if I change something, you can follow, uh, you can follow the value here. So that's super handy. Now, the other thing that's pretty common is that you want to actually debug your, your UI code. For that, you want to go into sources, webpack and then you'll see the same front end structure here so we'll go into views go to demo demo view and here you'll see the same source that we have here and what we can do is for instance set a uh, breakpoint here in add name and if we click here you can see the value now of the saved object if you wanted to you could even go in and change this so change this to something else and you can then use the debug controls here in our case resume and you can see that it got updated obviously the change I made here is only on the client side so if I refresh this it'll revert to what it's actually on the server all right so that's it for the short side note in the next video we're gonna look at building forms so we're gonna expand on our person object create a little bit of a more complex data model, we're going to add some validation rules and we want to see how that can actually be handled pretty easily with Vaadin's form helper. So I hope to see you in the next video. Again, ask your questions below and I'll try to answer them later on. Thanks.